I've lived in Massachusetts for my entire adult life at this point, and I like to think that I know the state pretty well. I've been to all the different corners except for Southwest, because that's where the dragons live and I'm scared of dragons. But today I want to test how good I am at identifying where in my home state are we. So what I've done is I've gone on to geoguessr.com and I have pulled up a custom map. I have lined out the exact border of Massachusetts and we're going to be playing this Massachusetts only map right here. If you guys enjoy, leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new. I don't think I do any other states for this because I don't know anything else about any other states that have only ever lived in Massachusetts. But if you want more GeoGuessr videos, I like this game. I think it's fun. So I'll do more if you want more GeoGuessr videos. Oh, and thank you for 350 subscribers, by the way. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And I do have an announcement. The big mega video that I've been working on for the last three weeks, which is why we haven't had any, almost any videos, is in production. We have finished recording it and... Uh, we are going to be editing it. We, there's not a team, it's just me. I'm going to be editing it over the next couple of days. I'm hoping I have that out by Saturday or Sunday. So keep your eyes out for that. It's going to be a really good video. I want to make sure you're here for it. So subscribe so you don't miss it. All right, we're over here in GeoGuessr and I have my Massachusetts map right here. Uh, I've only played it once. I only got 11,000 points because um, there were two Route 28s in Massachusetts, I guess didn't know about that. Let's play it right now. 50,000 locations. I like the map personally. I think that it's a lot of fun to play in a state you know a lot about. Uh, no time limit. We can move. We can pan around. We're just going to play some casual geoguessr. Let's go. I love this game, by the way. Okay, right off the bat, I don't know where we are. Actually, I kind of have an idea. See, So obviously we're in the middle of a city. Now it comes down to me being able to identify what city this is exactly. Oh, look at that! We're on, we're in Lowell! Wait, is this the grill? That's Oasis on Gorham? Oh my god! Okay, this is the city where I work. <laughs> so we're, we're at 910 Gorham, um, which is right by Carter. Yep, yep. Uh, the Dollar Tree and the O'Reilly, yep. I know exactly where we are. Uh, there's the the rail bridge. Oh my god. I never thought that I'd be given a layup to start with. Now I just have to find where Carter is. If we look right here, this is Gorham Street right here. It's one of the many main streets of the city of Lowell. And if the rail bridge is there... Hmm. I think I need to find another intersection. What's this road right here? Oh, this is the corner pharmacy by Dick Street. Here, the Oasis Grill. Aaron's Insurance Agency, the Meineke and JP Hairstyle, 933 Gorham Street, right by Carter and Dix. Okay, I think that's down this way a little bit. I'm going to look for that triangle intersection back there. That's Carlisle Street, that's not quite what we're looking for. Oakville, Albina, there's Carlisle Street again. It's still Gorham, but then it turns into Boston Road. So I must have passed it somewhere. All right, excuse me as I like, as I pull my way around Gorham Street real quick. What part of Lowell is this? This must be the south side of Lowell because I, I don't spend much time on the south side of the city. I can't believe they gave us Gorham to start with though. <gasps> wait, wait. Okay, this is heading northwest right now. Is there a second part to Gorham Street that I don't know about? Ha! <laughs> okay, I know where we are. I know where we are. This is the highway. This is the highway. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Boom. Here's the connector. The connector comes in right here. Is this Gorham? Oh, this is Gorham. Okay, yep. There's Ellsworth Street. Here's Oasis, and it started us back here behind the Cardinal O'Connell School. That's what that was, right? This has to be this. Over here. This has to be it. Yeah, the Cardinal O'Connell School. There it is. So it's going to start us right here, and there we go. 14 yards. Oh, my God. What a great start. <laughs> okay, where is this? Oh, we're coming up on Lemonster. This appears to be Route 2. Heading this way, entering West Boylston. Well, that's pretty easy. This is definitely Route 2 then. 
Uh, coming up on Lemonster, this is south, so that's got to be on this little stretch. Oh, wait, where's West Boyle? So, is this two? Wait, what did this say? Lemonster, how far? Oh, oh, Boylston's on the other side. Le Lemonster, 17 miles. That's right. Okay. So it's on this side. Harvard? Surely. This has to be on two. There's only like... Two oh, wait, no, no, Boylston's down here. <gasps> There's West Boylston. Yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm on 190. Okay. Okay. So if I want to come back over here and look at these signs, I can figure out exactly where I are because I know how far I am from certain things. Four miles from 140. Uh, which is, and what was the other one? 12, 12 and 9 miles. The intersection for 12 is right here. Oh, so I must, maybe I don't, what the heck highway am I on? It must be like right around here. Because if I wanted to get to 12, I would turn off here to get onto 12. Yeah, I must be somewhere around here. Now the other one is 140. I don't know what 140's road name is. I, again, so now, now we're in Worcester and this is not a part of Massachusetts I spent a whole lot of time in. Maybe I can find 140, though. I think that, considering that this is northwest, there's only so many spots this could be. And if I'm still a ways out, I must be on 190, like, right here, maybe? No, because this would be super inhabited. Is that 17 miles? Out? No. Okay, well, it has to be within the proper of West Boylston. Let me find... Oh, wait, I'm, I know, I'm north of West Boylston. Duh. Okay, well, where's. Oh, here's 140. Here's 12. The intersection for 12 is right there, which is 7 miles away. Right, was it, was it 7? 9 miles. Okay, so it's 9 miles up this way. But wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, 140, 12. So bang, bang. So I must be. I don't know why I can't figure this point. I'm 17 miles south of Lemonster, 9 miles south of Route 12, 4 miles south of 140, and 140's right here. So I must be on this curve right here, because that's the only one that goes kind of northwest. Now, is there a bridge anywhere that goes over Prospect Street, or can I see Prospect Street from anywhere? I'll exit 4 Classic Suites. I don't know what the classic suites are. I think I must be on this stretch right here. It's the only part that goes northwest that's kind of far away from 140 and is kind of far away from Route 12, which intersects right here, five miles later or so. That seems like four miles, right? I'm gonna guess. I think I think we are right there. Let's go! <laughs> Under 500 yards is a win. That's a dub. Let's go. Okay, now this is one where I'm going to have to scroll for a while. So when I find something of use, I'll let you know. Trash cans are a great indicator. They can tell you a lot. Well, not if it's like this. All right, there's another trash can over here. Maybe I can get a better view of it. That trash can's not helping. Did that say Epsom? That might be Epsom. I think this says Epsom, which I believe is out in this direction. Uh, is it out near Ashby, Ashburnham? It's a town that I know. I just don't know where it is. Why do I know where Epsom is? Well, why do I know what Epsom is and why do I not know where it is? I think I've got to get a better indicator. Unless that doesn't even say Epsom, I, but I'm pretty sure it says Epsom. Computer, enhance. I'm gonna check out more trash cans. See if I can get a really good view. I need to get like right up next to this trash can. Upton, that says Upton. Now, I don't know where Uptim is, so I'm going to go check on the Cape. Because if I don't know where it is, it's probably down in this part. I don't know a whole lot about this part of the state. I've, I've been to the Cape, I think, maybe four times in my life. And I've lived... Whoops, not there. I've lived somewhere in here for, like, my... Well, I've lived here my entire life. <laughs> I don't know where Upton is. I think it's out here. But I think it's probably a super tiny town. I think my best bet is to try and leave this neighborhood and see if I can get better clues. Unless this one tells me exactly where what town. Yeah, it says Upton. Okay, cool. So now I know what town we're in, at least. We're in the town of Upton. I don't know where that is, though. Problem is that the fr if if I'm off by, like, two towns, I'm going to get, like, a thousand points. And that's not preferable. Because I'm a competitor, and I like to win. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know where Upton is? Well, that's just a beautiful place. 
Look at this house, guys. People have great houses. I think we're in the dragon zone, honestly. Because, I, I mean, I've... <laughs> I don't think I've ever driven this long without seeing, like, a major intersection before. Is it down here somewhere? I'm just thinking that maybe it's down in this part of the state. I'm getting all the town names from this. Carver, Wareham, Rentham. Upton! Oh, I found it! We found Upton! Okay, what road are we, are we on? All right, Sadler and Farrar. We are super into the thick of it. This road seems like a pretty major road though. So I, I guess we can just keep coming out this way. I think we're probably out this way somewhere in like the super wooded area, maybe out near, near the forest. I don't know what road we're on, and I also don't know where we started in relation to any of that. Eventually, I'm going to find out what road we're on, and then we're in business. But I've been clicking through here for like six minutes, and I've made no progress. Because every time I click, I move like a, like a foot. I really do think we're in this foresty area right here. But I have no way of really confirming that. Like, I think it's possible we were like all the way out here. I'll say though, there are some beautiful houses in Upton. Look at this! That's gorgeous! I also don't know where the border for Upton even goes to, so I don't know like how far to look. This seems like a major part of town right here. I don't think it's this close. I think it's farther out than this. South Street! South Street! We are on South Street. That is so helpful. Okay. Now we are in business. Let's find South Street. It's not so far that we're in Grafton. Here's North Street. So is this South Street down here? If that's North Street, where's South Street? Cool. South Street! <gasps> Plumley! Plumley! We must have been out here. I think we were out here. I think we were like all the way out here. Let me see if when we go back to our start, is there anything that tells us anything about what road we are on? We didn't go this way. So we can see if it loops. Oh, well, that's just, well, that's just great. Oak and South. Okay, so we are on South this whole time. There's Oak. There's Oak. <gasps> okay, so, well, well, hold on, hold on. So that means we started like right here. Right? Because when we started, we had the option of curving that way or going back up and curving back around. So we must be somewhere probably closer, like up there. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! We're killing it! We're killing it. I'm so good at knowing this state. WWLP TV 22. Um... Man, we are getting right to it. Okay, this is an on-ramp for a highway. And I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth after that last one. Oh, Springfield. So let's just go to Springfield. And let's find W22. This is probably right next to a highway. Let's find out what highway we're on first. Actually, no, I want to go, go the other way. And it's going to tell us what highway we're on. 391. Where's 391 towards Holyoke? Right here. Or we could be on 116. This is gonna be like the fastest one ever. There's the news. And where's the on-ramp? We started about there-ish. We get the angle right. It's like right before it starts to turn. So like right there. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. That That's a good round right there. <sighs> My immediate guess is, no, it's not Lawrence. <laughs> I don't know why I was gonna say Lawrence. I'm feeling Melrosey. I don't know why I'm feeling Melrose. Edgewood, Sycamore. All right, so we're in a town. We're in a town that names all their streets after trees. That's not helpful. It doesn't say, but there's a stoplight up here. And what I know from about this game is that stoplights are the best. What did they do to this picture? 287. Hasn't been that low in years. 401 is a area code I don't recognize in Massachusetts. What road is this? Wait, what did that say? RJ Coelho Memorial Middle School. 
I don't know where that is. That's not a school that we played in middle school sports. So it's not in that part of the state. What road am I on? That's all I need to know. This is our last round, and I just need 100 points to break my goal of 20,000 that I set for myself but never actually mentioned. This, this kind of feels like it's either out near Springfield or it's in like... Is it like Burlington, maybe? Oh, major road coming up. There's an off-ramp. There's an on-ramps coming up. It's like Route 1. If it's in Route 1, I have no idea where we are. Oh wait, am I on am I on Route 1? Is that what that sign said? Uh So is this like Route 1 Norwood? Like where all the car dealerships are? Or is this like Route 1 Danvers? What's a car dealership? Where's the trash cans? Show me the trash cans. Trash cans are like legitimately like the thing to do. Milton? Milton Chiropractic? I'm in Attleboro. <gasps> I'm in Attleboro. On Route 1. Is there a Route 1 in Attleboro? Does Route 1 get all the way down here? Good for it if it does. I don't think it does. You know, I'm not seeing Route 1 anywhere. I'm thinking I've been lied to. I don't like it when computer games lie to me like this. I think I gotta keep looking. I'm not on 95. I know that for certain. I don't think we, we're in... <gasps> I found it. Let me take a look around real quick. I'm at the Walgreens. I'm at the lottery. I'm at the combination Walgreens and lottery. State line auto brokers. What was this one back here? Oh wait, what, what road is this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. So this is heading north. That would get me on 95. This is right at the on-ramp for 95. This isn't Plain Ridge. It's gotta be down here-ish. There's the courtesy Mitsubishi. Oh my god, I've, I've driven myself into Rhode Island. If I had gone like another five feet, would it say welcome to Rhode Island? Hold on. Let me go back. Where's the welcome to Rhode Island sign? Cause it's like right here. Wow, the color changed. It's like going into Mexico and Breaking Bad. Oh yeah, entering Attleboro. Okay, so let's find out where we are again. I'm in this neighborhood around here. And I never figured out what this neighborhood is. I am I know I'm on Sycamore though. And that must be out this way. Because looking south, it's gotta be one of these south facing roads, right? The Coelho Middle School. Sycamore and what was it? Edgewood? Edgewood. I don't know where that is. <gasps> I do. I do. We're at the very end of Sycamore, right? We're at the very end of Sycamore? We started right here? Boom, baby! Oh, I'm so good at this! Oh, let's see our results. I was only off by... 65 points. I don't think it gets much better than that. If I'm gonna do more Massachusetts GeoGuessr, uh, let me know. This was so much fun. I did so much better than I thought I was gonna do. That's almost a near perfect score. I'll take it. So, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks again for 350 subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.